सो वेलकम 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 लेट्स बिगेन विद अ Packed revision of chapter number fifteen. This is the session number one in which we are going to focus on sari twenty four hundred because the right age to wear a sari is twenty four. So here we are going to begin with the topic of review of financial information. Before I begin with this topic, before I begin with this topic, let's understand, sir, what is a review. how it is different from audit because that's the basic so before i discuss about review let's understand let's revise what was audit sir audit was all about obtaining ra ra reasonable assurance reasonable assurance that the financial statement as a whole are free from material misstatement once you get the reasonable assurance you are in a position to express your opinion opinion that the financial statements have been prepared in all material respects as per the applicable frf So can I say in audit the engagement risk is reduced to a acceptably low level? But what happens in review, sir? It is a limited assurance. Limited assurance, not a reasonable assurance. So here the engagement risk is reduced not to an acceptably low level, only to an acceptable level. So the risk is more than a audit engagement. Clear, clear, sir. So now to get this lower level of assurance, what is the process? Very simple. you just need to perform your procedures but limited procedures limited procedures like inquiry analytical procedures proci pro proci procedures in special circumstances these are the procedure now through these procedures you get sufficient and appropriate evidence then you draw conclusion limited conclusion and there is no scope of opinion even this conclusion is negatively worded theek hai sir then we started with the standards there are two standards sre 2400 sre 2410 How you remember this? The right age to wear a sari is twenty four. Got it? Got it, sir. What does SRE twenty four hundred talks about? We are going to focus in this video. It talks about review of historical financial information. That means the financial statements. When the practitioner is not the auditor of the company, so word used here will be the practitioner, not the auditor. Okay, sir. And it talks about the form and content of the report. Basic things. Again, we divided this SRE into three parts: engagement, acceptance, performing the procedures, then reporting. In engagement acceptance, the most important is factors. Factors affecting the acceptance and continuance of the client relationships and engagement. All those who have revised revised the last class, tell me, how do you remember these factors, sir? If you are not satisfied with these losers, in losers, say you are not satisfied, then don't accept the engagement. Oh, in losers. in losers if you are not satisfied don't accept the engagement how we remembered that in losers is what sir in losers basically means what integrity that means you have a doubt over the integrity of the management information needed in for information needed to perform the engagement that information is unavailable or unreliable ha oh, loser means what loose er come on loose er loose means limitation on scope limitation on scope means limitation on scope such that it will result in disclaimer of conclusion it will cause a disclaimer of conclusion got it got it sir if at the end it will lead to a disclaimer of conclusion what is the point what is the point of accepting such engagement and er means ethical requirement basically you feel you will not be able to comply with the ethical requirement including independence so don't accept the engagement and last point is you are not satisfied practitioner is not satisfied about what rational thinking rational purpose of this engagement when does your rational thinking gets affected when you drink more ml than your limit come on when you drink more ml than your limit your rational thinking gets affected sir what is this ml what is the limit let's recall limit means limitation on scope oh significant limitation on scope m for misuse of the practitioner's name basically you feel as a practitioner's your name associated with the report will be used in a inappropriate manner this is the point which is given in your book and the last point is what l l for law regulation this engagement was done because of the law regulation but law regulation requires audit not a review so now you are questioning the appropriateness of engagement so what are the options which are available either a audit engagement or a non assurance engagement non assurance engagement like a compilation engagement or any other accounting engagement that's it that's it sir that's it sir and in this few important points that you need to consider 
दीज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कैन बी स्पेशल पर्पज और जनरल पर्पज दिस स्पेशल पर्पज वाला पॉइंट भी डिस्कस इन दिस एग्जाम्पल गौचा गौचा सर then we discuss this topic we have just covered this topic please revise it well i feel icci should ask it and once icci ask it you will score 5 on 5 pakka pakka sir now comes the second part pre conditions for accepting a engagement just go in a very logical way what is pre before what comes before audit financial statements what comes before the financial statements frf right right sir so the first thing is frf should be acceptable come on frf should be acceptable what is the second thing sir management ke sath agreement we need to enter into an agreement with the management that management understands and acknowledges the responsibility for what financial statements as per the frf to make sure financial statements are free from material misstatement internal control then to provide the auditor with do with me everyone au again au sir what is au au means all information additional information and unrestricted access done 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 sir two pages clear now comes the next part sir what if we are not satisfied what if the preconditions are not present discuss still if you are not satisfied don't accept but sir after acceptance if you are not satisfied ha oh, then what to do see whether the matter can be resolved okay sir sir if it is not able to resolve we are not able to resolve the matter then baba see simple thing is withdraw if the withdrawal is not possible disclaim how they have written this thing withdraw means consider whether it is appropriate to continue with the engagement hmm disclaim means consider the impact on your practitioner's report are these three points clear yes sir first of all we'll try to resolve then we'll try to withdraw then we'll try to disclaim got it got it sir then it we talked about agreeing the terms of engagement these are the same points as we discussed in essay 210 these engagement terms should be agreed before you start performing the review got it sir they need to be recorded in a engagement letter or any written agreement oh plus sometimes when you are doing a recurring engagement you need to revise the terms of agreement these revision wala part we have already covered in essay 210 acha sir if they are saying to change the terms see whether rj is there rj radio jockey no reasonable justification there should be reasonable justification for changing the terms that's it if reasonable justification is there then you can change the terms and record the new terms in a new engagement letter please tell me is the first phase of this sre clear to you come on is the first phase of the sre clear yes sir this is the first phase of sre engagement acceptance quickly give me a thumbs up in the chat box chalo come on come on come on come on then we move to the second phase talking about performing the review engagement awesome 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 now let's talk about performing the review engagement very easy sir very easy first point about materiality this is the same as we discussed in essay 320 calculate the materiality for financial statement as a whole why we calculate the materiality essay 530 essay 450 performing the procedures and evaluation of misstatement acha does the materiality change with the level of assurance come on does the materiality change with the level of assurance that means will the materiality for a audit be different from a review the answer is no materiality remains the same regardless say with me regardless of the level of assurance got it got it sir but sometimes you need to revise the materiality in case you become aware of some information which you were not aware earlier that means if you get to know controls are very bad control risk is very high risk of material misstatement is very high that means you need to reduce your detection risk to reduce your detection risk you need to do more testing to do more testing bring down your bring down your are bring down your materiality got it sir then you understand the entity to identify and assess the risk of material misstatement who taught you sa 315 so here also you can identify the areas where material misstatement is likely to right just read these two topics materiality and understanding then comes designing and performing the procedures whatever procedures you feel you should perform you should perform mainly the two procedures performed are inquiry and analytical procedure the best part about inquiry is it is divided into three phases phase number 1 getting the information phase number 2 evaluating the response phase number 3 inconsistency say with me phase number 
getting the information phase number two evaluating the response phase number three inconsistency how do you get the information sir you seek no one gives the information like this you have to take the person and you have to seek the information together you have to become a devil little little devil cute cute devil so you have to seek the information from management and other persons which are ever are appropriate in the entity what type of information financial non-financial come on financial non-financial give me the examples of financial information fraud sir fraud means fraud related party accounting estimates unusual transactions d for nothing okay so these are the points make the inquiries about fraud any existence of actual suspected or alleged fraud related party means identification of related parties a for accounting estimates u for significant unusual transactions and d for nothing plus sa 560 570 560 means the events that is the subsequent events between the date of financial statement and the date of report 570 means your going concern assessment plus any event or condition that may cast significant doubt on the entity's ability to continue as a going concern that's it baba that's it can we do inquiry about non-financial matters also yes you can also extend your inquiries to non-financial data if appropriate this is the first phase of inquiry done now come to the second phase so what is the second phase are baba you have asked the information now whatever response you get evaluate that oh so you need to evaluate the responses received from the management who will you call to evaluate who will you call to evaluate sir doubtful wife this wife is full of professional skepticism so basically what happened was the husband came late he came at 1 a.m in the night and wife asked where were you he said i was caught in a meeting plus i got a chalan from a police officer so i got very late so what are the two things she will ask what were the actions taken at the meeting where you got late Second thing, where is the chalan? Chalan means the communication received or expected to be received from regulatory agencies. Plus, she may perform other procedures and regarding those other procedures, she can ask the inquiry. So, that means the matters giving matters arising in the course of other procedures. Are these three points clear? Yes, sir. Meeting, regulatory agency, other procedures. Now comes the last point about inconsistency. Whenever as a practitioner, you find some inconsistency between two evidence, let's say bank confirmation and bank statement, who do you reach out to? Management. Inquire about the inconsistency. Whatever response they give, evaluate it under the light of. The light of what? Two things. What you performed in the last, in the previous point, other procedures. In the light of other procedures, in the light of other procedures and your understanding about the entity and its environment. That's it. Got the points? Yes, sir. Now let's discuss about analytical procedure, but there is nothing to discuss. They have just written one line that for analytical procedures to analyze, there should be some data, adequate data. Now my question to all of you, why is inquiry and analytical procedures important? This question is also there in your question bank. The first question of your question bank is this only. Why is inquiry important? So what will you answer? Sir, inquiry is important to check the intent. Come on, say with me. Inquiry is important to check the intent. Yani inquiry is often a principal source of evidence about the management's intent. However, the information to corroborate this inquiry may be limited. So, who, how do you check the intent? Sir, we check the intent through the example of a student who says that it is my intention to study for 12 hours. How do you check that intention? past history whether he has done this before what is the motivation reasoning behind it and the last point is ability past history reasoning ability come on past history reasoning ability once more past history reasoning and ability clear clear sir how was the wife she was a doubtful wife she had professional skepticism so inquiry allows you to apply professional skepticism in evaluating the responses of the management and last point was Iska last is Iska first. Come on. Iska last is Iska first. That is understanding the entity, obtaining and updating the understanding of entity and environment to identify what are the areas where there can be material misstatement. So this is the first <laughs> benefit of analytical procedure. Obtaining and understanding the entity to identify the areas where there can be material misstatement. So in analytical procedure, when you are doing your analysis, 
where are the material misstatement wherever you find some inconsistency wherever you find some inconsistency or variances from the expected trends expected values in the financial statement there are material misstatement so what do you perform additional procedures you as a practitioner perform additional procedures whenever you become aware that there are some areas in the financial statements wherever there is material misstatement when you are performing these procedures what do you get corroborative evidence very easy sir so basically it provides corroborative evidence to the inquiry and other analytical procedure give me an example of analytical procedure month on month comparative analysis of revenue and cost come on month on month comparative analysis of revenue and cost that's it that's it sir that's it sir then comes the next topic procedures to address specific circumstances what is the speciality about this topic please tell me in the chat box chalo everyone we are just about to get over with the first class of this chalo tell me Come on, come on, turn the radio on. Specific circumstances. What was the top points? Full essay, full essay, essay, essay. Which essays? Sir, these are the same essays now which we discuss in other matters. Sir, other matters? Other matters of the inherent limitation of auditing. Sir, other matters of inherent limitations of auditing? Fraud. Fraud with related party. It leads to non-compliance with laws and regulation. Then you will be imposed a penalty which will affect your going concern. Are these the same points written here? Yes, sir. Fraud. Fraud with related party leads to non-compliance with laws and regulation affecting your going concern. And when your going concern is affected, you reach out to other people. You reach out to other people yani using of the work performed by others. So just remember the bold points just remember the red points sir what are the red points in case of related party be alert see like in real life also whenever it comes to relatives we stay alert what what will relatives do okay so when it comes to related parties also na stay alert stay alert about the existence of related party relationships and transactions which the management may not have disclosed to you oh Plus, if you find some transaction which is not at arm's length price, which is outside normal course of business, there is a chance there can be a related party. Plus, also evaluate the business rational or logic of such transaction. Is the first point clear? Yes, sir. Then comes the point of fraud. Fraud or no clar. Whenever you find a fraud, whenever you find a no clar, inform the management and TCWG so that they can evaluate the financial effects. Plus also determine whether it is your duty to report it to a third party like central government whenever the fraud is 1 crore and above. Then comes going concern. Very simple. Just see whether there is any event or condition that may cause significant doubt on entity's ability to continue as going concern if yes see the management's plan plan should have two 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 uh, benefits what sir it should improve the situation that then only the plan is effective and the second thing is it should be feasible got it got it sir then sir you have to evaluate through the inquiries whether going concern is appropriate or not then comes the last point using the work performed by others whether you use the work of other practitioners like SA 600 or any expert like SA 620 you just need to consider whether that work is adequate or not say with me whether that work is adequate for your purpose or not that's all that you need to consider and I'm sure you will score 5 on 5 gotcha gotcha sir then we discussed about this point that we studied at the end of last class. Sir, what was this point? You have a feeling that the financial statements may be materially misstated. Will you leave it on maybe or turn it into reality? Sir, we will turn it into reality. We want to be sure whether the material misstatement is there or not. So what to do? Additional procedure. Do additional efforts so that you are able to prove whether material misstatement is not there or whether the material misstatement is there. So as a practitioner, you are required to perform additional procedures to conclude whether the financial statements are free from material misstatement or there is a material misstatement. Sir, what are the procedures? You did earlier what? Inquiry and analytical procedure? Yes, sir. Increase its dose. Increase the dose of analytical and inquiry procedure, yani additional inquiry, additional analytical procedure with a more focus on the areas where you feel there could be a material misstatement. Got it? Got it, sir. Second thing is, sir, we are bored. 
वी आर बोर्ड ऑफ एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर बोर्ड ऑफ इंक्वायरी यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग एल्स यस सर यू कैन डू इट Do test of details. Do external confirmation. Got it? Got it, sir. If still you are not able to get the evidence, still you are not able to prove whether material misstatement is not there. Continue, Baba. Continue. Continue with your additional procedures, and definitely you will reach your point. But if management is not giving you the evidence, then say it is a limitation on scope, and you are unable to form the conclusion. This is the same question we will cover at the end of this book. End of this book. Basically, end of this essay. ठीक है? Now comes the next topic, effect of subsequent events. It was just a revision of SA 560. Two types of subsequent events. First type of event. Quickly tell me, between the date of financial statement and the date of report, what does such events require? Adjustment or non-adjustment? Non-adjustment, then disclosure. So if you find some event which requires adjustment or disclosure, request the management to adjust and disclose. If you find the event after the reporting date, no responsibility. But had this event been known to you earlier, you would have amended the report. Sir, it is creating tension in our mind. So whenever it creates stress, go to the management and do DDI. Sir, what was DDI? Discuss the matter with management. Determine whether the financial statements need amendment. If yes. how they plan to address the matter if it needs amendment and management says no then see whether you have given them the report sir we have also given them the report management is not amending the financial statement and report is given to them then request them request them that these financial statements should not reach the third parties but still if management is giving to the third parties what you can do what you can do Sir, we will take a action. We will take a action to prevent the reliance on this report. Is this point clear? Yes, sir. Then comes the next topic that is written representation. Very, very easy. Just a quick revision of SA five eighty. What are the written representations about? Management's responsibility that they have pro that they have prepared the financial statements as per the FRF. Plus whatever information was required, they have provided to the auditor, and all the transactions are recorded and reflected in financial statements. Then, sir, can we also request additional written representation? Do it. Do it for all the financial inquiries, SA five sixty and SA five seventy. That's it. Plus, if the management is not giving written representation, that means these people are dishonest. So discuss with them, reevaluate their integrity. If they are dishonest, also their other evidence will be bad. Other written representation will be bad. Now, if you don't have evidence, disclaim your opinion, disclaim your conclusion, take appropriate action in your report. That means. If you feel you have a doubt over integrity, if you feel they are not giving the written representation, you disclaim your conclusion. With this, we wrapped up the yesterday's class. In today's class, did we study something new? No, sir. In today's class, we did not study anything new. It was just a revision of the audit report chapter. So the first thing that we studied in today's class was what? Just take a deep breath. Breathe out. Relax. One more time. Take a deep breath in. breathe out relax now let's begin with today's part sir what if the practitioner has not obtained sufficient and appropriate evidence again do the additional procedures again the same thing is do the additional procedures that means extend the work performed perform the other procedures still it is not possible to get evidence or draw conclusion discuss with management at tcwg it can be a effect on the scope of review it could be a limitation on scope clear clear sir plus sir sometimes we are unable to perform the specific procedure but we may get the evidence through some other procedures like a alternate procedure is it still a limitation on scope the answer is no in this case it is not a limitation on scope if you are getting the evidence through some other procedure then we discuss the topic of forming the conclusion in audit what are the three things we see to form the uh, form the opinion reasonable assurance that financial statements are free from material misstatement reasonable assurance means sufficient and appropriate evidence free from material misstatement means whatever uncorrected misstatements are there they should not be material plus you see some evaluations of the qualitative aspects of accounting practices how do you see there is a quality in accounting accounting policy accounting estimates and disclosure so just ignore the evidence wala part when you are talking about review in review just consider two things uncorrected misstatements and evaluation of accounting practices plus if you are auditing as per the fair presentation framework two things see opsc opsc Overall presentation structure and content. Come on, overall presentation structure and content of the financial statements plus whether the financial statements give a fair presentation or not. Whether the financial statements are fairly presented or not. Now, sir, what will be the wordings of the conclusion? 
हैव यू डन हार्ड वर्क और नॉट सर नो वी हैव नॉट डन द हार्ड वर्क इन रिव्यू इन रिव्यू वी हैव नॉट परफॉर्म प्रॉपर प्रोसीजर्स वी हैव जस्ट परफॉर्म लिमिटेड प्रोसीजर्स सो वेन यू हैव परफॉर्म लिमिटेड प्रोसीजर्स वॉट विल यू गिव लिमिटेड कंक्लूजन सो यू विल जस्ट से वॉट एवर वी हैव डन इन दैट वी हैव नॉट फाउंड एनी मटीरियल मिस्टेटमेंट सो नथिंग हैज कम टू योर अटेंशन टू बिलीव दैट द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आर मटीरियली मिस्टेटेड सो दैन यू कैन गिव योर अनमोडिफाइड कंक्लूजन now sir what were the types of modified conclusion it depends whether you have got the evidence or not and whether the impact is pervasive or not in case you have got sufficient and appropriate evidence theek hai and the impact is pervasive which conclusion like sa705 adverse conclusion in case you got the evidence or not doesn't matter if the impact is not pervasive qualified conclusion in case you got sufficient and appropriate evidence and the impact is pervasive in case you did not get sufficient and appropriate evidence and the impact is pervasive should you give a conclusion answer is no first priority withdraw first priority withdraw that means you should withdraw if possible under the law regulation if the withdrawal is not possible ha oh, then in that case you baba disclaim your conclusion gotcha gotcha sir now sir understand these things in these two cases whenever you are not able to get the evidence you need to mention the reasons for the inability to get evidence plus whenever you are giving your basis for modified conclusion any of these three points will come in case you have modified because of a material misstatement describe that material misstatement also the financial effects in case it is because of the disclosure how the disclosure is materially misstated in case it is because of a omission of a disclosure give out that information people want to know people want to know what is the nature of omitted information unless prohibited by law or regulation so these are the three points you need to consider got it got it sir so these were the main points that we covered here just give a read of these topics sir from where to where from 15.9 to 15.12 practitioners report we did a detailed coverage again not a detailed coverage just read through it because there was nothing amazing about it also we read through one report that i will also upload in your google drive so don't worry about that then we discussed eom para om para what is the comfort in this topic sir it is same as audit same as audit so just give it a read documentation again the same thing procedures evidence conclusion the add on part was significant matters who performed when performed who reviewed when reviewed covered this part theek okay? hai audit versus review very simple reasonable assurance limited assurance just just differentiate on the basis of process detailed procedures fewer procedures sufficient and appropriate evidence reasonable conclusion sufficient and appropriate evidence limited conclusion assurance opinion positively worded assurance conclusion negatively worded then comes this question please give me the answer to this question and then i will say you tata bye bye chalo quickly go through this question and tell me what will you write here don't do the cheating up please request you are conducting the review it is gathered upon inquiry there is a possibility possibility of material misstatement please tell me what answer will come here come on everyone tell me tell me yes people yes people jaldi se jaldi se jaldi se yes people everyone what will you do as a practitioner in their sre 2400 depends on pervasiveness are nahi they are saying the procedures how will you proceed are you sure there is a material misstatement no sir unless you are sure how can you modify your conclusion you need to perform additional procedure very good sajimi you need to perform additional procedures yani additional inquiry analytical procedure or other types of procedure like substantive tod and external confirmation full sre done full questions done everyone in the chat box comfortable with this sre or not come on how was this sre tell me
ऑसम सर ऑसम 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 ग्रेट डन डन आर डन डन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर राइट नाउ दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे मेक श्योर यू आर रिवाइजिंग इट प्रॉपरली बिफोर अटेंडिंग द नेक्स्ट क्लास इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी बिगिन विद द नेक्स्ट एस आर ई दैट इज एस आर ई टू फोर वन जीरो एस आर ई टू फोर वन जीरो सर इट वॉज ह्यूज बट वी मेड इट सिंपल येस दैट्स द पावर ऑफ लर्न विद फन थैंक्स अलॉट एवरी वन फॉर अटेंडिंग द क्लास फॉर बींग सो पार्टिसिपेटिव फॉर बींग सो पेशेंट नाउ अ राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू चलो हैव अ ग्रेट डे हेड एंड येस लेट्स कैच अप इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन टेक केयर ऑल